So we've seen the first stage of resources going live on Earth 2 today, with the oil and gold heat maps being added to the Earth 2 map. Although it hasn't came without controversy, with many users saying there's resources in areas there shouldn't be, and resources missing from areas there shouldn't be. Although we do have resource validation coming up, so we can submit them with that, and there's tons of other resources to be rolled out at a later date. So next, I'm just going to read you through the official announcement and discuss some points of that. Dear Earth 2 players, we hope all is well. We're excited to announce that Golden Oil Resource heat maps will go live over the next 24 hours. So this was posted a few hours ago and they are since live on the Earth 2 site now. While the first release of the official resource locations of Earth 2 is a milestone to celebrate, there are some important things to consider, so we would highly suggest reading and rereading the information below very carefully. 1. The resource heat map. In this case, for oil and gold, we'll display a binary data on each given resource. That is whether the resource exists or does not exist at a given location. 2. It will not yet display the frequency or the amount of that resource in that location. 3. The binary data will be represented on player-owned properties, that is properties who have been purchased and owned already by a player. 4. One of the core purposes for releasing this information in a binary format is to provide indications to the players who own properties as to whether or not their property has gold or oil. 5. While we are working with certain proximity radius data sets, just because a property has gold or oil confirmed, it does not mean that adjacent tiles will return the same results after purchase. We advise players not to rely on this assumption, as it could often not be the case. 6. New property purchases may take some time to reflect whether the new player-owned properties contain any gold or oil. This could take up to 24 hours and in some cases longer. 7. Presently, we have adapted the proximity radius datasets to be utilised in the most restricted form. That is to say, if your properties confirmed to have gold or oil in the areas displayed in this first resource heat map, then that resource will exist in the highest group of resources, concentration and density for gold and oil. 8. If your property is not yet confirming gold or oil, we do plan to release heat maps for lesser levels of concentration which use broader proximity radius data sets in the future but these will still have a general close proximity to the source or lesser source and will be graded in concentration accordingly. Just because your property does not yet show gold or oil yet does not mean it will not have gold or oil. We are simply focusing on the higher concentration areas first. 9. If you believe your property should have received a higher concentration of gold or oil but it has not been confirmed in this first version of the resource heat map, you will still have your chance to challenge the resource validation system goes live in approximately five to six weeks time. We suggest you begin collecting evidence such as official URLs, PDFs, paper and images and other materials you have to support your claim. 10. The high density gold and oil heat maps will remain live over the next two weeks as we monitor, test and validate data. If all proceeds according to plan, we aim to release additional resource heat maps. Gold and oil lean towards the rarer types of resources that will initially be available for utilisation in Earth 2. Both in their own way and depending on the purpose will be required in varying quantities for construction and support in more advanced technologies, products and devices. In low quantities, they may also be required in other areas of the ecosystem. The purpose of Essence, Resources, the Egosim and more is for Earth 2 to provide an interesting economic foundation for players to create and build on Earth 2 through activity and play. Value of things like Essence, Resources, Raw Materials and such should be considered as speculative at this stage. We anticipate the eager and proactive players will use this new feature to influence their dual crafting, trading and slotting. In particular, players will be able to begin formulating gameplay strategies such as optimizing how they will slot jewels, the specific combinations, accumulate certain types of jewels for the crafting or user to user trading, collaborate with other players as part of mega cities and incorporate hollow buildings on their properties all based on the resource heat map. We congratulate property owners who have detected gold and oil on the properties in this initial resource heat map release and we look forward to releasing more resource data sets over the coming weeks. 
Essence Fractions are coming soon. The tracking and transformation of Aoife in the Fractions of Essence is a significant update to how Aoife is claimed and transformed moving forward. This new feature will allow players to monitor the detailed progression of each transformation of Aoife in Essence and will immediately be more useful and beneficial for smaller property owners, especially as Essence becomes more and more difficult to produce. We expect Essence Fractions to go live by May 31st, 2022, but have an important message we want to convey at least one week before this update is rolled out to the public. Please read this message very carefully. We have noticed that many players progressively collect their ether, saving it up over time to use in one large conversion. We realize there are, and will continue to be, many different types of strategies players will test and utilize in Earth 2. Strategies that may or may not benefit the player, but this is all part of what we want our metaverse to become. If you are a player who save your ether to convert it in essence, we would like to officially forewarn you that before Essence Fractions updates goes live, we will need to automatically transform all ether balances in the essence for all players. This should not alter the normal transformations you have been experiencing to date. However, we realize some players may wish to manually transform their saved up ether before we do it automatically. If we plan for this automatic transformation to happen earlier, we release an announcement notifying the community to please keep an eye out for updated videos on Discord, Facebook, Twitter and social channels. Otherwise, you can expect the automatic transformation to be executed the 24 hours before 8 a.m. UTC, May 31st, 2022. Right, so there we go then. We're not just getting resources, but we're getting fractions of essence soon too. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an amazing day.